Hello, my name is Jörg and welcome to CoachRed.net. In this video series, we will connect AppGyver to a Xeno backend, demonstrating the create, read, update and delete with a simple to-do app. We start at Xeno.com. I have created one of their free accounts and am now setting up my first workspace. My workspace is simply called uh, to do. Now start from scratch. Zeno offers to create database tables right away. The user table is already there and I create another database table called to do as well. You could also create the APIs right here. I don't do that at the moment and I am also not customizing the API. We will create the APIs as we go. Next up is the user login for this demonstration. I don't need it, so I just select no login required. Here we are at the Xeno dashboard. I let you to explore it. I go over to the database and then to my to do table. And here I'm going to add two columns. The first one is simply called text and will contain my to do. The second column I call done. It is of the type bool and it will contain the checkbox of my to do. Next, I create two new records. The first one, the text of the to do simply says list to do's in AppGyver. That's something that we do uh, next. Obviously, it's not done yet. And the second uh, record, I just tap in on add new record, is update to do's in AppGyver. We are finished with the database setup. So over to API, I tap on API, then on view. And uh, we haven't set up any API endpoints. So I click on add API endpoint. Here I want a CRUD operation, so create, read, update, delete, and of the table to do. And here I want to get all records, so it's the get. Great, just save, and here we have our first API endpoint. And say now the API endpoints consists of uh, three sections. The first one is the input, so what gets into the API. Then the function stack, what happens in the API and the response, what gets delivered as the output of the API. In this get API, we don't have any inputs, but the query is interesting. So I click on query all records and here I can filter. I can define the output. It might be useful for our to-do app to display the most recent to-do on top of the list. So I add a sorting and I sort by the day created and I do a descending. So the most recent item is on top of the list. Save the output and then I save the changes to the query. Next, let's run and debug. I press the blue button on top and here we are. Since we don't have any input parameters, the input object is empty. So I just press run and here we are. We have a JSON list uh, with two JSON objects, the ID, the created at, the text, update to do's in AppGyver and the done. Looks very good. In the next video, we will connect this API to our AppGyver app and list these to-dos. So see you there.